Well, I uh, came around the corner here. Uh, that's where the port is. And then I came around and I came to the edge of the island. And uh, there's a beach. Yeah, I didn't know there was a beach here. I'm just gonna assume it looks like over there they're practicing rugby. It's pretty cool. Okay, here's something I've never seen in Japan. <laughs> this looks like a housing complex. Uh, it's not a gated community, I don't think. I don't know if it is, actually. But this is on that man-made island. And it's right next to the water, next to that beach. So this would be kind of like similar to Newport Beach, I guess. I mean, this is right next to the harbor right next to the marine I'm going to the boats right now so these people <laughs> definitely 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 have money I mean this is probably I mean these houses are worth nothing I mean the houses are probably worth two hundred thousand dollars because they're made out of crap you know just plywood and nails and plastic cars meter on the street do you see that you got a meter on the street no yards absolutely no yards no backyards but they're separated see that's the thing they're separated they're not right next to each other like you normally see them a carport but not a garage but they're really well manicured there's a central park looks like this is really planned out oh, look at that blue roof isn't that ugly? Um, there's a central park. It's very clean. There's no traffic lines or anything. No signals. No stop signs. There, are, There's no signage anywhere. <laughs> huh? It's like this is one big apartment building or something. I don't know. It's it's like an apocalyptic. There's nobody around. Where is everybody? Are they at work or something? There's a few kids on the street, which would mean this is a great place to play. No cars. There are no cars. The local little the local little park in the center has toilets. But your house is like three steps away. What would you need a toilet for? I don't know. Well, look at that mini. Pretty cool. So, uh, yeah. There's, I've never seen something like this. The, the, yeah, this is weird. Solar power, that's good. And it looks like the designs of the houses are all different. It's not like in America where the houses are all the same. He's wearing a bow tie. Oh, boys are in a bow tie. Okay. They got little soccer shirts on. Nice place to park, play for the kids, huh? It's flat. Very clean. Yeah, see, the designs are all different. Some cool cars. <laughs> yeah, that's a cool one. That's the Roadster. Yeah. What is that? It's a Fiat shoe skate. Okay. <laughs> These cars don't look that expensive. It's not like they're really expensive cars. I think, well, that's a big house. That's a big one. I wouldn't want to clean that. Oh, these are bigger over here. Yeah, they're all different. Huh. It's interesting. They have an overhead garage over there. Okay, I'm lost now. Okay. Nicely groomed hedges. carport with a cover on it. You still have to hang your clothes outside. I guess they like hanging their clothes outside. Look at this. They have a nice home and they're hanging their bed stuff out, out over the balcony. How tacky. I don't know. You need a backyard. Okay, so I'm coming out to... I don't know what I'm coming out to. This looks all very new. I don't know. Looks like I'm coming close to the shopping center. It's so quiet here. Where 
is everybody? It's kind of spooky. Is everybody working? It's so spooky. It's so quiet. I can't believe it. There's nothing out here. No police. No sirens. This is a gated community. Residential Cove. Ah, so they're still building inside there. Weird. I don't like it. <laughs> I've decided I don't like this place. It's too spooky. There's the boats over there, so I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. So, oh, okay, these houses have their own boat dock. That's kind of neat. All right. Yeah, this is definitely all new. Or it's like the last 10 years new. I wouldn't know. Anyway. People over there have some really nice houses with a boat. So I guess this is where the rich people live. All right, well, I'm on the other side of the mm, man-made island. And uh, there's some sailboats over there. And there's a big boat coming right at me here. I'm, over, I'm gonna go out to the edge here as far as I can. Looks like they're building some huge complex over here, right on the water. I mean, this this thing looks ginormous, and it's right on the dock where these huge ships can come and, and dock. So interesting. All right. Well, uh, I um, came to the tip of where I want to be. I'm. Um, Looking out the ocean towards Osaka. Osaka, I think, is over there. Uh, oh, there we are. Somewhere over there. Okay. Thing. And, uh, that's uh, Nagasaki and uh, maybe <laughs> that direction is Osaka. And uh, I'm just gonna watch the boats come by and um, and have me a little lunch. I got some uh, ramen. And I told you, I got my celebration, one beer, that's all I'm having. And, uh, yeah, and I'm enjoying. So, <clears throat> I'm alone here, right? And, uh, you might be thinking, are you having fun by yourself? Oh, um... You know, can you can you be alone and, and enjoy yourself? Yeah, because I'm an only child, and anybody who knows what it's like to be an only child, you spend a lot of time playing by yourself. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I entertain myself, and uh, I don't think I'll have a problem being alone because I can always find people. Right? It's not like the world is that uh, well. It is that big, <laughs> actually. Yeah, but. You know what? <laughs> I can't really tell you. I can't really tell you. Um, I'm going to move out and be alone from December. I think December. And I'll, um, I'll have to see what it's like to be single and uh, alone. I've, I've never really been alone. Hmm. No, because even when I came back from Germany and my divorce there, uh, when I was in San Francisco, I was living with uh, a, a redhead lesbian and a black gay guy in San Francisco <laughs> in a house. So I wasn't even alone then. Um, I was single, but there was always somebody in the house. There was always something going on. And when I moved out of my... Um, house when I was 18 um, I had a roommate I've always had a roommate I've never lived alone oh about six months I did when I I came uh, oops. <laughs> I came uh, back from Germany and had to get things organized for the family to move over to America and, and in that time period I was alone for six months or something like that but I was going to school at the same time. 
I went back to school and, and studied international business for a semester or something like that until I had to move down to LA because my ex didn't want to stay in America. She wanted to go back to to Germany after like a year. I don't like it here. It's too small. Yeah, I understand that. So, being alone. Is it possible to be alone? And enjoy it. Uh, you know, I watch a lot of videos on, on YouTube of, of van dwellers and, and full-time RVers who are alone and don't have relationships. And you know what? There are a lot of... Um, Um, there are a lot of groups, uh, what do they call them? Uh, oh, I forget. When you, when they meet together, they meet together and these, say these, these groups meet together and they have like a party or some like community thing. What's it called? Ah, sorry, you're saying it right now and I can't even remember. Um, and then when they meet, then from there, you can make a plan like, okay, let's go here for a little while. And then, you know, we'll go here for a little while. And then you can kind of stay together. And also you can keep in touch with these people, especially the ones who are in your area. Like if I'm staying in California, Arizona, Oregon, and just doing the same route, you know, uh, I'm doing the 5 one three ninety five, you know, that those three roads basically up and down the coast, I'm eventually going to hit somebody I know and uh, not hit, but, you know, meet up with somebody I know and uh, spend some time there. With them uh, and you you spend like a day or two with them and then you move on and and meet up with somebody else so it seems to me that I could always have help that, that you know there's always somewhere I could go like hey if we're gonna go boondocking and go out like somewhere farther out I'd rather do it with somebody if I'm gonna go farther than three miles or five miles outside of the uh, off the road actually what is it Five miles, I think it is. Is it, it's like a towing towing thing? I can't remember, but um, you can only go a certain distance away from the highway before they'll they'll actually tow you. And I think it's actually very close, only a hundred feet or something like that, because it's amount amount of cable they have to be able to tow you in. But do you care about that? Do you worry about that? Well, if you go with somebody, and I plan on having um, snatch cables, I think they're called snatch cables. And a, and, a, and a winch, a hand winch, you know? So at least if I get stuck, I can get out and I can I can tie up to them and they can tow me out to the road, closer to the road to get towed away. Things like that. Just think about doing boondocking with somebody. I don't necessarily want to do it all alone unless my I feel like my van and uh, is...